have our PTZ camera connected uh, to either our four-way or our eight-way IQ CCTV DVR. And the reason I say that is the menus, etc., um, for the four-way and the eight-way are identical. So um, we now want to come along, we'll say, and we want to uh, drive the, the camera here um, and, and control it through the DVR. So if I click into the eight-way, or into channel number three, which is the camera here, and I, I right click on the mouse and I'll bring up the PTZ menu here and I'll make a decision here, I'm going to rotate the camera, nothing happens, I'll zoom it, it won't work for me either, okay? And the reason of course it won't work for me is that the, the settings for this camera that are inside the DVR are not matching the settings for the camera that here and normally the problem will be that the address, the PTZ address don't match. So the default uh, address for a PTZ camera uh, is always one, okay? So uh, in this case here, we're gonna leave the camera as is. We're just gonna go into the PTZ, or uh, into the main menu here. So I'm just gonna come along, click main menu. I'm gonna go down to advanced, and we're gonna go to PTZ here. So we'll see here, channel number three is the camera that, that associates with us. So let's look at the pattern that we have here. Channel number one is allocated address number one. Channel two is the allocated address number two, and channel three is the uh, allocated address um, 003, but we know that the actual PTZ address of this camera uh, is one. So we just click on one and go OK, uh, return. Uh, I'll just quickly mention here that the, the, the actual protocol here, we have a choice here, but Pelco D and um, baud rate 9600, these, these all match exactly what was on the camera. And uh, so we can set it up exactly like that. And we're just gonna turn auto cruise off and I'm just gonna hit the apply button here. So I'm just save the settings and once it's told me this has been successful, I'm just gonna exit out here. So I'm just gonna go okay. And then I'm just gonna go exit. I'll exit all the way out. And now what I'll do is I'll actually click into the camera to bring it up to full screen. Now I'll right click, go down to the PTZ menu. And now I would say I'll make a decision that I want to zoom in. So we can see the zoom factor is one. Now this camera is upside down, so it's a little bit confusing from that perspective, but still it'll work reasonably well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm saying I want to zoom in on that picture. I have a zoom factor of two, but I'm not centralized on it. So I want to centralize on that. I zoom in further, and now I'll zoom down again, and then I'll zoom all the way out to factor 10. We can see here. And then we can just exit out here. And I'll just bring it back onto the big screen there. So you can see a very, very good level of um, resolution on it, okay? So that's it. Um, uh, an overview of how to uh, use and um, set up the PTZ to work with your D D DVR. And then just a quick overview of how to actually use it.